as in Islam say, truth and happiness is something that are together. I think most religions talk about the same value about, about happiness. Imagine if we are all as a, as a good, good human, you know, what sort of world can we create it? Iskander Weyrunta's words may just change your view of not only Islam, but happiness forever. Everybody, every culture, every religion has to embrace this conscious sort of consciousness to, and they do something about it. Born to a Dutch Catholic father and a British Jewish mother, this self-sufficient ecologist said Islam was simply an answer to questions that had plagued him for nearly 50 years. 12, 13 years ago, I was reading some of Islamic literature that related to the path of the heart, which is known more as Sufism in the West, is the sort of more of the mystical sort of side of, the, of, of Islam or the, the side of the heart, the path of love in Islam. Uh, I, I was struck uh, because everything I was looking for was clearly spelled out and, and, and in, a, in, a, in a very, very beautiful and logical way. So ever since I decided to took Islam seriously, because when you fall in love, um, you 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 you're ready to sacrifice. You know that things uh, that that make you different in life when you sacrifice your own existence for something greater in life, which is love. You know, and and that's basically the the beauty of all the love story is how much a person sacrificed himself. Yeah, happiness is basically, for me, is uh, being in balance. In Islam, it's a, such an incredible guidance on the responsibility we have as human towards our environment. You know, and when you talk about environment, there are basically two types of environment. Yeah. One is the internal environment, which is our internal system within our body, you know. And then we have the external environment, which is, you know, the whole creation of the universe. And the two is very much linked to each other. It's basically the external and the internal is a reflection of each other. While this means he sees happiness as within our control, Iskander says we are being unduly influenced to live a life that deprives us of it. People are being uprooted from more or less a rich culture where happiness just born out of a spontaneous uh, activity, you know, every day. Uh, and uh, and it's some, now it's something that has to be purchased. You have to own, sort of, uh, you have to have money to be happy, which is uh, ridiculous, you know. It is the world of luxury that has been pulled over your eyes to blind you from the truth. You know that our happiness now is manipulated like crazy by the, by the industry. And they want us to be weak. There is no more benefit <laughs> for them than if they create a weak society or a weak human. Because if you are a weak human, then you are a perfect market. You know? And that's why they want to detach you from all this real food or the real nourishment that you can get in, 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 in life. And that's why they make you leave the sovereignty area, like the village where you have nature, you have people working uh, with love uh, uh, towards each other and they move you to the city to make you depend on the industry because they know, you know, once you're in the city you'll be my slave and you will live right through your life uh, in your sort of limited dream uh, as my perfect slave and, 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 and it's time to warn people about that. As he invited us on a tour of his rural paradise, Iskander asked whether his wife could join us, as he said she was sure to make him smile more. I was surprised by his request. Iskander saw my surprise and explained that the largely institutionalized, male-dominated, Arabic view of Islam we're confronted with in the media is not representative of most Muslims who simply see their religion 
as a better way to live. I automatically see Islam as a solution towards our postmodern solution, which is we are losing uh, our relationship with things that are wholesome, with things that are good. Nature is where the best resources of happiness you can get because when you when you talk about happiness is it has to be unconditional most of the product that being being provided uh, offered to us in this in this in this society we don't need that we, we can say no and we still okay it's just because of the conditioning that we we are in that it's become something that we can't say no this is the problem of our ego. We just want to, we feel the freedom is something that you, happiness is something that within your hand. No, it's something that you basically, even if you give, you feel happy. It's not when you get, you feel happy. Happiness or truth is not only a, a, a part of an Islamic tradition, but it's, it's, a, it's a universal tradition.